Here is your latest African news. We're dealing, both of us, with an incredibly challenging time. Um, the world faces threats from disease, from climate change, from food insecurity, uh, from violence. Um, what we can achieve together as two leading democracies, I think is even more urgent. And that's also why so many colleagues are here and so invested in this process. We've seen the repercussions of Russia's war in Ukraine, uh, which are felt across the planet, uh, and especially across Africa in, in rising food and energy prices. Uh, we've supported the efforts by the United Nations and Turkey to broker a deal so that Ukraine can start shipping all of the agricultural commodities that have been held back uh, by uh, Russia blocking their export. Uh, and we're committed to helping as many people as possible suffering from rising food insecurity. Uh, since the Russian aggression began, There is no one in South Africa who supports war. We've made that very clear. And we have said that we wish to see intensified efforts at increased diplomacy, utilizing the good offices of the United Nations, particularly the Secretary General, and other leaders who may be of weight in terms of persuading the interlocutors to come around the table and negotiate a settlement of this awful conflict. This is the position of South Africa. Discussions uh, with Secretary Lincoln and our press family is open to sharing uh, perspective on uh, And make sure to subscribe to get the latest African list, entertainment, pop culture and news. Remember to leave your suggestions on topics you would like us to cover in the comments down below. And remember, Africa is watching.